One of the ways of preventing the patch of ransomware getting onto your system is you could create a file called PF, PERFC and then put it in your Windows directory. Uh, fairly straightforward to do this, so this will prevent the uh, ransomware from encrypting your files. So let's go through the motions here of setting it up. So firstly, I'm going to go into Notepad. Um, if you don't, just put in a in your search bar, just type in Notepad. I've actually have different versions, but just select Notepad there. Um, but in the file, it doesn't matter, just put just some random text. But now the important bit, go File, Save As. Um, going to put it here in a folder. Let's go for this one here. And this is really important bit. Put in your vertical commas, P-E-R-F-C, and close them. You don't have any extension on this file. So save that, and that creates a file uh, with that name. Now the next step is we need to let me get my Windows Explorer here. We need to make it read only. So to do that, right click on it, go properties, and you tick the box here for read only. Apply. Okay, so that file can't be edited. If we try and open that file, let's go open with, uh, let's go for notepad, make a change, try and save it. It won't work. So it's a read only file. So I don't want to save changes. So the final step is you cut or copy that file, so right click on it, I'm going to cut it from here on your PC then go into Windows go into the folder and right click and paste so you have to give administrative permissions to do that, go continue copies the file in. So just to double check while it's there, right click properties, make sure it's read only and it is and that's it, so that, that file's in place, That pro that's Certainly it's not the be all and end all when it comes to protecting my PC against ransomware but it's a good idea that you have that in place. It does stop some of the encryption uh, processes of that new ransomware.